Good morning guys, this is Mike Sanina with The Fit Adventure. So this morning we are at Sunrise Marina in Port Canaveral. We just stopped over to get some bait and for today's adventure we are going surf fishing. So I'm going to show you guys the basics of surf fishing, the gear, the tackle, and hopefully we're going to catch some fish along the way. So we're on our way, we just picked up some bait, see you guys there soon. We just got here to the spot which is just south of Cocoa Beach. I'm gonna go and get my things set up here and let's do some fishing. So let me show you the rig I'll be using today for surf fishing. So I like to use the pre-made rigs and the reason for that is it's really super simple and if you're just starting out with surf fishing it's I mean, you know it's really easy and convenient. It's already pre-tied. All you basically have to do with these is put a weight at the bottom and put some bait on it and you're ready to fish. And that's the reason I like to use this pre-made rigs. Now as far as weights, for surf fishing you want to use a pyramid sinker and that's to hold the rig at the bottom so to keep it from turning around in the surf. I prefer to use these two sizes, a three ounce if you know if it's not too rough. But if it's a little rougher you definitely want to use a heavier weight and that's where the four ounce comes in. So this is what the rig looks like once it's all set up and tied on. I added a bit of fish bite on there. As far as surf fishing gear is concerned, this is what I use. So I use a Shimano Sustain and I believe I, this is the 8000 size. So it's about a medium sized reel. So it's got good line capacity. I have braided line on there and it's really good for being able to cast it out pretty far. The rod I'm using is a Shimano Turalejo. This is a 10 foot rod. So you definitely want to have a longer rod when you're surf fishing because you want to be able to cast it out there pretty far um, and get that bait you know, past the breakers. So one other thing you're going to need when you're surf fishing is going to be a rod holder. So this is what I use right here. I bought this off of uh, Bass Pro. It's made out of aluminum so it doesn't rust and it holds your, your fishing rod in the sand pretty good and it's got even a little uh, foot thing here so it helps you drive it into the sand a, lo a little bit easier or you could go a little bit more basic with this sand spike here it's got a PVC tube attached to a piece of metal um, either one will work perfectly fine so let me show you the bait we'll be using today so we are using live shrimp so as you can see there we have we bought about four dozen and live shrimp is usually readily available when you go to any local tackle store or bait shop and so this is usually our go-to bait but you can also use clams you can use sand fleas um, you can use fiddler crabs you can use uh, live bait fish any of those will work in the surf but usually anything that swims in the ocean will always eat shrimp so that's why it's our go-to waiting on the bike. So tell us what you got there, Ken. All right, subscribers, we got a sheephead, which is part of the Porgy family. Nice. Look at those crazy teeth. They look like human teeth. <laughs>
look like they're not the stinging ones, obviously. Otherwise, no! <laughs> black drum guys. Here we go. Get bigger. Check out the tail. Look at how blue that tail is, guys. That's really cool. You see the spot right there? It's to keep the predators away from the head. So it mistakes the tail for the for eyes. But it's a pretty cool feature of the redfish. Some of them actually have multiple spots sometimes, but your typical redfish will have one spot at the end of its tail. Nice catch, man. Rad. Hungry, dude. Slot size. Grab a quick bite to eat before headed back home. All right, guys, food is here. I got a pound of the mussels, and I also got a dozen of the raw oysters, which look really good. These look really plump, so can't wait to dig in. Cape Canaveral Exploration Tower. Hope you enjoyed that surf fishing adventure. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Also comment below and subscribe to the channel for more content. So until our next adventure, live the adventure guys. There we go. He was regurgitating. All right guys, so this is the redfish that Ken caught and now he's pulling out but it was trying to eat, so we're gonna take a look. Holy smokes. Let's see what that is. It's like a greenie or something.